Alrighty, another Alpha Strike video, the last one for week one. Uh, we're doing an escort convoy. Uh, I know the minis look uh, like they're painted up like the Lyrans. Uh, that's because that's just what I have a lot of at the moment. Uh, and to differentiate them, I have the most of Marek, but obviously we don't want Marek versus Marek, even though technically that's who it is. Anyway, for your ease of viewing, <laughs> I'm using Lyran miniatures. Uh, yeah, let's get to the armies. Alrighty, here we are with my Recon Lance. Uh, I'd just like to point out, look at the amazing uh, size differences here. <laughs> this is what happens when you collect miniatures over the from a game that's been running for decades. Uh, you know, some of these are 3D prints, some of these are legit, some of these from the new range. Uh, like, the size, they're, they're not to scale. <laughs> this is not a scale. Uh, I have some um, atlases that are like the same size as the Hermes. It's like, what? Uh, anyway, in conclusion, battle tech mech scales are a bit messed up. Uh, anyway, we have the Locust, we have a Stinger, a Hermes. Uh, he's got his chest plate there. We don't need to differentiate him though, because, uh, you know, but in future we may. So we've got head, shoulders, and chesty. Chesty Bond over there. Uh, and we've got a Griffin, which is, <laughs> for some reason, gigantic <laughs> compared to the others. It is meant to be the next weight category up, I guess. But even, like, compared to some of my Assault Mechs, that's bigger than them. He's so big! I thought he was a Battle Master for a minute. And I'm like, where is my Griffin? But there you go. My terrible paint jobs on them. But guess what? They are, they are there. Marek Militia, ready to represent and defend themselves in the Recon. Uh, it's not a recon mission, it's a convoy mission, which they are fighting against. Uh, I know these are meant to be like civil forces, but uh, just to differentiate the two teams uh, a bit more visually on the camera, I'm going to use Lyrans, even though these are meant to be Merrick citizens who are attacking the convoy. Who knows, they could be, you know, whatever. Uh, we've got two locusts, a stinger and a commando. Again, they're from my badly painted uh, Lyrans. So we're going to cut to the table. Uh, very shortly after I get my cat out of the room who's jingling around and causing a pain in the butt. Alrighty, Rangers. Welcome to our last mission for the week. It's a convoy escort mission. Everybody's favorite mission. Everybody loves these missions, right? <laughs> They're so annoying. Uh, so the convoy moves at convoy speed, which in this case is 15 centimeters or 6 inches. Uh, we are playing in centimeters because the table is tiny and that's that's because that's all the space I got. I don't have a massive table on which to play. Uh, this is the space we have. So we're going to use centimeters here. Uh, you can see here we've got six. So you do 1D3 plus uh, times three. Uh, and that way, because the objectives are measured by thirds. Uh, so <laughs> you know what I mean? It makes it a bit easier if everything's multiplied by three. If you want a copy of the scenario, um, you can go on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Rangers. You can get yourself a copy of the scenario. Um, yeah, happy days. Now, the scenario says dangerous terrain. They can't move through. There's no dangerous terrain. Um, even though these are hover harasses, um, we are saying that they are wheeled for the purposes of this. They're just wheeled trucks. Uh, and even though they're painted as Lyrans, they are not actually Lyrans. They are uh, just a bunch of locals who have mechs who are trying to attack us. Um, they have to move... Along the uh, along the road here, and then go back and cross the bridge, and then when we get to the bridge over the river, uh, we will decide. Uh, we'll roll a one d three. One, they go there to the to the top corner. A, uh, two to four, I think it is. Yeah, two to four, they go to B in the middle, or um, the last one, five and six, they have to go over here, which should be on this side of the thing where where these guys are coming from. Um, so. We'll have those as our uh, as our stuff. Now, the convoy is affected. I said in the rules, the convoy is affected by things that speed up or slow down movement. And roads speed up movement. So they are actually going to move at double convoy speed. They don't have any weapons. I have a griffin. Uh, well, you just saw my armies. But I have a griffin, a locust, a stinger, and a hermes too. They have two locusts, a stinger, and a commander. Um, there is 10% salvage on this mission. So there's absolutely no reason for me to... Uh, you know, try and salvage these mechs, I guess. Um, but we'll see. So far, I've had two failures. Hopefully, this can be a success. Without further ado, let's do some initiative. Initiative for Marek. Ciao. That's a four. And initiative for the Steiners, the Lyrans. That's a ten. So Marek's will be moving first. I will move everything up and uh, relocate the camera. It's turn one. Happy days. Okay, so uh, the convoy's moved down the road. The... Man, locusts are fast! 
Holy cow, 16. Crazy. I guess, I mean, that's to be expected. Uh, so my locust has trailed along with these guys. My uh, my Hermes had to get on the road and make use of the road movements. You've got the Hermes and the thing. The white and purple does not show up well with this road. I apologize. Uh, these guys have just come straight up uh, charging in. The locusts are moving through the water, so that's why they're a bit slower. Um, the griffin and the stinger on my side, on the uh, you can't really see because he's hiding behind the behind the rock there. Uh, yeah, they use their jump jets to to get over uh, there, and um, yeah, I don't know that we can really see anyone to shoot. So I'm guessing that's the end of turn one. Actually, before we do that. Because we discovered last video that 24 is the medium range. <laughs> yes, they'd be in long range. Uh, I, I think these guys are like under the water, right? Like that's kind of how I see the, the deep water. There's like deep water and light water. I say deep water is like you're completely submerged in a mech. Uh, light water, you've got partial cover is kind of how I generally play deep water, light water sort of rules. Um, yeah, so I think they're at, at quite a long range. I don't know that these guys are going to take their shots from there. Do they even... The Commando can't even reach that far, and neither can the Stinger. None of them can. So none of them can shoot at long range. So that kind of gives us a bit of an advantage. Can the Griffin shoot at long range? Probably. You know what? The Griffin is going to try and shoot. I lied. Oh, he only just can reach 42 centimeters. He's going to have a crack. So he jumped... So that gives us an extra one. Uh, he, here's everyone's favorite part of my video, me doing crappy maths. Four <laughs> skill level. He jumped, which is plus two, actually. Uh, and then plus four. So we're looking at uh, six plus... So I need tens. Uh, and is there's not really any cover in the way. Oh, and they're TMM, which for a commando, he's aiming for a commando. We know from the last video, commando is two. So I need 12s. I need a critical hit. Here we go. Critical hit. That's not a critical hit. Pew, pew, pew. He, uh, he misses. Uh, and that will be... <laughs> the stinger can't really see. Where are we? Not turn six. Turn... Where's the two? There we go. Turn two. That's a bad dice. That's meant... That's like... That's not how dice are meant to go. Is it? No, oh, maybe it is. Anyway, whatever. There you go. Happy days. Turn two. <laughs> Let's do initiative for turn two while we're here, shall we? Uh, four for the Marex. And... The... Okay, Marex will be moving first again. Uh, we'll get a different angle. This convoy is chugging along. Whoops, just move some trees, don't mind me. Uh, it's powering through, which is the opposite of any convoy mission I've literally ever played. <laughs> Let's put this on a one zoom so it's not too far zoomed out for you. All right, so the Marek guys get to do their first, uh, their first movement. Uh, and I'm just aware we are very close to these, um, <laughs> these intruders, so... <laughs> we might do we move the stinger up well the stinger has jump jets so he can kind of position himself anywhere he wants right so that's good for like doing some rear arcy type deals um which might be useful how much does the locust have yeah we'll need that sort of extra damage point um so and the locust is very fast as well so we might go with the hermes 2 who's got a 12 inch but on here that will double to 24 so he's not going to be able to quite keep up with the um, with the old tankaroos, but at least he will be able to take some shots uh, and sort of defend his friends here. And maybe next time he'll, you know, not use the road and just run across, uh, run across the thing. Uh, now I know you meant to do skid rules or whatever. I've never used skid rules ever in BattleTech, and I'm not going to start now. So sorry, folks, who <laughs> are here for the in-depth skid rule rulings on the road here. <laughs> never ever am I going to use skid rules. Uh, they get to move someone now, so I guess um, they might do the stinger, and I think they're going to move their stinger. I think they're going to kind of. Because these guys are Marex as well, right? So we've got to think, like, you know, they're civilians. What are they likely to do? I, I'm guessing they're going to try and go this way. He'll, he'll run up the river to try and cut them off at the pass. Because that's really the choke point, isn't it? The bridge is the choke point. That's what we want to be defending and attacking if we're the attackers, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just some chump. 
All right, now I've got the Griffin. The Griffin has jump. Uh, do we want to jump him across and cause some trouble? Do we want to protect our dudes? I think we definitely want to move the Griffin. His jump's only 10, though. So we might walk him up to where this tree is, next to this tree. Um, so he gets a bit of protection from the woods um, from those other guys. But that way he's kind of, you know, force projecting, right? He's... He's ready to jump across the river next turn if he needs to, or he can jump down and protect his buddies. Um, that's, you know, and where he is, he gets a good shot off at the stinger. And we didn't jump this turn, so that means our dice rolls won't be entirely trash, which is often what happens. As you know, as loyal viewers know, my dice rolls are trash. Uh, hot trash. The commando has a 12-inch, but it's like a... A run, like a, a, a walking, not a jumping. So I think he is also going to take the, the stinger method and maneuver himself up here, sort of getting ready. He might go on this side, so he's got like a nice line of fire to these, these mechs here. Which leaves us with our stinger and our um, locust. Now, our locust... Locusts are pretty lightweight, as are stingers. I think at least this, the stinger has a 2 and the locust has a 3. So the locust has a better TMM. Um, does, do the vehicles get a TMM? Maybe that is something I should have done. Yeah. <laughs> let's say the vehicles get a plus two tmm because that seems pretty medium you know that's a it's a good medium even though they're moving super fast at the moment um and they're quite small all right we're gonna move the locust we're gonna put the locust he's gonna go behind this rock and he's gonna run over to here and um sort of help out his teammates and now we've got our own locust situation now they're in the water so they move half until they get out of the water, which is on the edge here, which they're going to do. Um, which then leaves us with the Stinger. Stinger has a 12 jump, which isn't enough to really get it anywhere at this point in time. Uh, would it get it across the water? It could go across the water, but then it'll be over there by itself. And we do not want it taking all that armor hits. So we might even just leave him where he is. Because... He can stand still, I think, and try and shoot um, through the trees, maybe. What's a standstill? Standstill is a minus one, and the trees are a plus one. Is that right? Yes. So that will just negate the trees. Um, yeah. That's what we'll do. Sounds good to me? Sounds good to me. All right. And then these guys, he gets what? One, two, three, four. So that's eight. And then once he gets out of there, he gets another eight. So he can come up here and shoot as well. Happy days. Let's do some shooting actions. Okay, we can just barely see the little griffin poking out from behind the tree. <laughs> uh, Marek had the lowest initiative, so they get to shoot first. Uh, and I think we are going to start with the griffin. Uh, the griffin is going to shoot at this the stinger that's here. Again, we're going to go with our old strategy of pick on the little guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> dogpile the little guy because it's usually an effective strategy. Uh, and we are in medium range. You know, surprise to no one, medium range. The stinger, uh, sorry, the, the griffin, did he jump or did he walk? He walked. So the four for his base attack. Uh, the TMM of a Stinger is 2, uh, so that's a 6, um, and then plus 2 for the distance is 8. If there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments. Here we go, 8s. There we go. Look at that. These dice, uh, these because these aren't really Steiners, my Steiner dice are not um, pro Steiner, so <laughs> that's a hit to the Stinger. And at uh, me medium range... From a griffin, that's two damage. Happy days. Now, again, we're not in structure. So I don't know if, um, you know, because we didn't tick off a structure. Now, it's got AMS too. I don't know. Is that a... How do I know if it's a AMS weapon? I mean, it does have an LRM. Anyway, whatever. 
close enough. We hit, take two damage. Abracadabra. We'll look up AMS rules another time. <laughs> Feel free to put them in the comments. Um, and I guess the locust. Well, let's just make our way across. Uh, the you know the next one there is our stinger. Stinger on stinger action. Uh, is that what you came for? Is that what you searched for to get here? Stinger on stinger action. And uh, yeah, we're in medium range. Um, still. So it's going to be exactly the same number because he's got a minus one for standing still, but a plus one for a tree. Here we go, eight. Oh, that is not an eight. No, nah, the tree's got in the way. Uh, the locust. The locust might be close enough uh, that he... No, nah, he's out far enough to be away. Oh, what about the other locust? Oh, do we risk it for the biscuit? Um, is the plus two... Yeah, look, I am garbage at rolling. Let's shoot this guy as close as we can. Um, and then our... Our Hermes will also shoot him and maybe try and wipe him out. Uh, yeah, I think that's the that's the plan. So, uh, he moved, this guy moved. The TMM of a Locust is three, though, so it goes up by one. Uh, they're short range, so we get that plus two. Uh, so, we're looking at, well, it's a minus two, isn't it? So, it's four, minus two is two, plus, one, uh, plus three is five. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. No, that's it. Fives, here we go. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. <gasps> that's more than five! Yay! Have one damage, Mr. Locust. Uh, and we will mark that damage off on this sheet. There we go. Alright, Hermes 2! Unleashing all his powers. Now, he is going to be... Um, outside of that range, but in medium range. So he is going to add two to that. So we need sevens. ka oh, look at that. That's a six and a four. We got uh, another hit. And the Hermes 2 does, at medium range, two damage. So our Locust is in criticals. Yay, he's got one hit point left. We're going to roll 2d6 on our critical damage chart and get an 11. An 11 is... Have a look at the handy dandy notebook. Engine hit! We could not have asked for a better thing. What happens with an engine hit? Engine hit. The unit's power system is damaged. For mechs units, an engine hit will cause the unit to generate one heat point at this time, uh, any time it fires its weapons, without delivering any extra damage from overheating. I haven't really learned up the overheating rules, so we should probably, um, you know, look at that at some point. Uh, but this heat will add one point generated to the engine hit. A second engine hit critical will destroy the unit. Okay, plus one heat when firing weapons. I see. Yeah, okay. All these overheat values have overheat zero. So I'm guessing overheat, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing overheat you deal that much extra damage and you can like tick it off. Like, you know, if you're doing like an alpha strike on a mech. But because all of these mechs are not like... Um, 3025 max. <laughs> they have good heating, cooling systems, and therefore don't have to worry. There you go. All right. So now it's time for the uh, the civil attackers to have their shots back, um, and we will do. We will start, I guess, with that locust who's got. Uh, you know, we'll give him a heat. Um, we can learn about heat rules while we in, in between the break <laughs> between them. So uh, he is going to shoot the first guy. Uh, now, in the scenario, just so everyone knows that I'm playing legit, the scenario says that uh, they can take three direct hits. So they're like the buildings from before. Uh, after their second hit, though, they only move at half speed, half convoy speed, which will actually be full convoy speed because they're traveling on roads. So uh, he he moved. He's got a four. Uh, they all have fours. I haven't updated any of the, you know, I should get the cards for them with different things. Like, you know, these guys really should be, instead of having like a, um, what do you call it? Instead of having like a four, they should probably have like a, a lower one, a five, you know what I mean? Uh, but whatever. And the clanders should have a three. So it evens out in the wash, right? <laughs> it all comes out in the wash. He's got a four. That's definitely short range. I don't even need to measure that. I can tell you right now. <laughs> then, um, uh, it, we said it has a TMM of 2. We were giving it a 2. Uh, and that is going to be 6s. 
yeah, sixes. Unless I'm missing something, feel free to tell me if I am in the comments. Here we go, sixes. That is a, definitely a hit. So these guys, we don't have to worry about taking damage. We just give him, give him a token so we know. Make sure you use your tokens. Did you remember your tokens? Did you do your tokens? Were you good? Were you good? If you use your tokens and we're good, hit the like button. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy will do the same thing. Um, is that going to be... Oh, that's out. So he's going to fire this guy. So it's the same number. Sixes. Uh, and that way... Oh, that's a miss. There we go. Um, yay, my dice hate someone other than me for a change. Woohoo! There we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, I did that one so that I didn't have to do math. <laughs> it would have been eight, you know what I mean? Like, Anyway, moving on. Uh, now, Stinger. Stinger can't shoot more than uh, his middle, medium range. He is he going to shoot this? Yeah, man. Focus on the mission at hand. You know, uh, don't get distracted by the big scary mechs. Uh, so he, it's all the same except it's going to be medium range to eights. And that's a hit. He takes another hit on the convoy. Oh no, our convoy leader. Uh, it's just like that scene in, is it Iron Man? I don't know where they blow up the front one and then blow up the back. No, it's, um, the one with Nick Cage doing the, the hair. Whoosh. Uh, pre the, what is it called? What is that movie called? I love that movie. I used to watch that movie when I'd have sick days. I'd, I'd chuck a sickie from school and I would watch, uh, Con Air. I love that movie so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Like they blow up the front convoy and then they blow up the back convoy and then they're kind of trapped in the middle. Yeah. Uh, and the commando is going to do the same thing, though. Yeah, is he in mid? Yep. Okay, here we go. Same thing. Uh, eights. Kachow. Mm, that is definitely an eight. So, this guy is dead. K.O. The first of the things. For those playing at home uh, who don't have... They haven't downloaded the scenario, just so we all know. The objective is if... Uh, the escort forces win if 33% or more of the convoy units have completed their journey and move off the table edge. Raiding units win if 66%. So, uh, basically, two guys have to make it. That's two guys have to escape. That's the plan. That's all of our shooting phase. We're on to turn three. Uh, I will reposition the camera and we'll go from there. All right. So, the heat rule is you subtract double the amount of heat you're on from your movement unless it's jumping. Um, so the Locust is down to 14 movement. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. When it gets to the S, it shuts down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, in conclusion, it doesn't really matter because this Locust is about to blow up. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but just for anyone who is uh, playing at home, where do, where do I find that? Unit's current heat level will be added to its uh, weapon attack target numbers. So from this turn on, it will also have a plus one. Uh, to hit. So, there we go. Uh, we've got our blown up vehicle over here. Uh, the rest of them, as you can see, have, have moved. Uh, these roads being double the speed uh, and these guys having quite a lot of movement uh, is probably a mistake. I probably should have just kept them at convoy speed. Uh, for future reference, that's what we will do. Roads do not speed up or slow down. I mean, maybe they do. We wanted a fast game. We got one. So, let's do some initiative. For turn three, just make sure I can be seen. Marek have got a six for their initiative, and the civil attackers have got an eight. So Marek will be moving first again. Um, I think we are going to wait and see where these guys go, I think. I think I'm going to move the Locust... My Locust. We'll move My Locust up here to kind of get ready to defend uh, in terms of the next turn. Now, who are they going to move? I think their Commando is going to do a similar thing. So they don't have a lot of time. These, these trucks are fast. They're fast as. Um, so, you know, insert the meme here. <laughs> Gotta go fast! Uh, and these guys dressed in blue, they understand all about going fast, right? Uh, they're Team Sonic. Uh, so he's going to move up there uh, to try and, you know, keep an eye on these guys and maybe attack them when they get to the bridge. Uh, that leaves me with someone to move. 
Can I jump behind him? I am going to jump behind him, which is probably a mistake because the stinger can then do the same thing to me. Um, but it is what it is. And in fact, let's do exactly that. Let's get the stinger to do the same thing to me. Um, and that means it's then my turn. And I'm going to say the Hermes stays where... Ooh, does he stay where he is? That's very dangerous, because these locusts are... Chonka boys! Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> the locust is... Um, very fast. Maybe he's going he's gonna to go back... Does the Hermes have jump? He does not, does he? No. Nah. He is going to go back this way, though. Uh, and he will go back to back to you there. Uh, he wants to be somewhere where he can be seen by he can see others. You know what I mean? He wants to see. He will go right there, just to give a bit of distance between him and the them, and also to move with the convoy, I guess. They need to move a locust. They are gonna move. Why not? Why wouldn't they just charge up the side? And try to splatter these guys. You know what? This guy here who's damaged, he's going to hide in the trees. Because that way he can kind of use, you know. We know he's in the trees, guys. He's hiding in the trees. He's exactly at the center point of the tree. For purposes of measuring. Uh, we just can't put him there. <laughs> so he'll do that. Which means we've now got a stinger. And the stinger... He's going to jump... No, he's not. You know what, heck, this thing is going to stay there and take a pot shot at the at the guy and negate the tree again. That seems to be his tactic. The, uh, the, the anti-forestry stinger. Which leaves us with this locust who is also going to run up, I guess. Yeah, he's not fast enough to get behind the Hermes. So that was the right choice on the Hermes' front. So we will... Um, well, he could run on the road, I guess. He could be a road runner. But I think... No, I think he's going to... Yeah, he will... Oh, this is a hard hard decision. Because they've lost it, basically. They have lost that convoy. It is out of their, out of their range. We've all been there. We've all done that. He's just going to run straight up the side here. And into the fray, I guess. And that way he'll get the cover from he'll get the cover from the rock from the Hermes. So the poor Hermes moved somewhere so that he could specifically shoot someone. And it's ended up meaning that he hasn't been able to shoot someone because they've all moved away. Uh, so that worked out well for them, I guess. Uh, but it also means he gets the, the tree and the tree. Um, and the only person who could shoot him and not get the tree is the griffin. Uh, but the griffin is otherwise... Uh, yeah, so good good moves all around, everybody. Let's get to a new position and work, do some bad math. Hashtag bad math. Maybe that should be a shirt too. Let me know if you'd buy a shirt that says hashtag bad math. Okay, so remember for the purposes of measuring that uh, second locust is actually on the tree. You know, a tree, the tree center. Um, so let's start with... Um, we will start down here with the stinger. The stinger to the locust inside the tree that has one hit point. Uh, the locust didn't move, so minus one. The tree is there, so plus one. So we're at fours. Uh, the TMM of the uh, other guy, of the locust, is three. So we're at sevens. Sevens, ka -chow. What do you know? Lucky seven. We have got ourselves a mech. Boo! Finally, the dice are rolling for us. This is my thing. I have luck with light mechs, you know, light units. Uh, I like to pilot spiders when I'm playing Mech Warrior. So this, this works out well. There you go. Stinger doing his job. GG. Good job. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> there's only... Um, unfortunately, there's only 10% salvage on this mission. So not the mission you want to be getting uh, your stuff on. The other locust is we're going to have some locust on locust action. We had stinger on stinger action before. Now we're having locust on locust action. Uh, here we go. And that, that line of sight does cut through the tree. So it's plus one. It's going to be plus two because it's going to be outside of the six uh, short range. 
Uh, and it has a TMM of three, so it's going to be plus six. So we need tens. Here we go. What do you know? The dice love me today. Are you playing craps at home? Did you get that? Uh, so, how much damage does a locust do at medium range? It does one. One measly point. Uh, but there you go. One point of damage is better than zero points of damage. Uh, and we will now jump into the, um, the the battle over here, into the rear arc. So he jumped, which gives me a starting of plus two, so that's a six. Uh, and then the TMM of a commando is two, so we're eights. And it's going to be short range, so eights. Is that probably a mistake? Is my griffin? Oh, my griffin just has twos across the board. Okay, eights. Here we go. Lucky eights. What do you know? We're getting exactly the right numbers. We should be playing craps today. Boom, boom. Uh, and so, in the rear damage, I saw this before. Determine damage. Damage to rear, one additional point for any successful attacks that strikes the target in its rear. So, it will do three points of damage to that commando, which means that extra point of damage is crucial because now the commando gets a critical hit. Rolling on a table for a critical hit. We got a three and a two, a five. Uh oh, no critical hit. Rip. That's what we want when we get a critical hit, dice, you silly dice. Speaking of getting a critical hit, the stinger on the opposing team is now going to shoot into my rear. Uh, he uh, did. Uh, uh, he did a run, but I jumped. So it's TMM plus one. My TMM is uh, two, so plus one is three. So we're at sevens, and that's it. We're at sevens, uh, and it is a rear arc, so extra damage point. Uh, sevens, here we go. Ciao. Yay, it misses. What? These dice actually love me today. Living the dream. Uh, this commando is going to shoot... Or is he going to focus on his mission? Yes, he is going to take out this purple-coloured... This this guy. Maybe he'll take out the rear, just like in... um, Just like in Con Air that we were talking about before. It's a medium range. What's the commando's medium range? Damage, it's two, right? Yes, it's two. Just making sure it's not zero and I'm not wasting everyone's time. So, they moved. They've got a team of two. He moved. He's got zero. Four and two is six. A plus two for medium range is eights. Here we go. Ka-chow. Off. Damaged. Damaged goods. There we go. Damage token for him. Uh, the Locust is going to... He'll also try to focus fire on that guy. Uh, so we know it is um, eights, but for him, because he's got... Actually, is he within short range? He may be. Uh, no. He is on the other side of the tree. He's not in the center. So he is at medium range as well. So he needs nines because of the tree. Here we go. Bam. That's not a nine. Look at that. Look how fast we're getting at this. We are we are on our way to making successful videos, guys. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. Let's move on to turn four. Uh, we don't need to worry about heat and things because that guy's dead. Happy days. Let's... Um, oh, I just put the turn four marker not on the screen. Let's zoom out so we can see what the movement's happening. Look at that. Nice angle, terrible lighting. <laughs> Welcome. Now, we're actually at a critical stage because we are at the bridge. So, these guys, are, I'm going to roll. If it's a one, they have to come off here. Well, that doesn't help you. If it's a one, they come off the close edge. Two to four, they can take this road. But if it's a five or six, they have to go all the way down the other side. Here we go. Ciao. Oh, no. It's a five which means this game just got twice as long because they will have to go off the road uh, and that's going to take them quite a long time. So, uh, let's do that movement, I guess. Okay, so our convoy has made it all the way across the road. Uh, that was one thing I was worried about was that they were going to like get caught up before they cross the bridge and then everything goes much slower. Um, yeah, so they've, they've gotten there, which is good. Um, one of them has one injury, which means he hasn't, like, slowed down. That's what I was worried about, was that they were going to get a, a, that second hit, that crucial second hit in, which results in them getting, like, a, um, you know, uh, a, a bad time. Let's do some initiative. The Marricks. 
got an eight. Ooh, we might see it switch this time. And the other guys, oh, look at that, seven. Just, just when they needed to seize the initiative, uh, that is exactly what they have done. The old civil pirates, the bandits who are trying to steal our goods. I don't know, what are they shipping? These guys are shipping uh, RJ's Rangers merch. <laughs> They're trying to get their hands on it, on their hot, the hot uh, items, like the 7-inch Advantage shirt, <laughs> amongst other things. Maybe some of my cute creatures uh, on the red bubble. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, they get to move first, I guess. Now, they are outnumbered, so, like, the, the numbers are different. And so I gotta look up that that little thingy real quick. Is it on this one? Nah, it's not on this one. Uh, it is here. Look at me wasting everyone's time. Alright, so we have uh we have three left to move. And side move number one. We have three and four. That doesn't even come up. Never mind. <laughs> it's only if it's double or more. Okay, that's cool. When there's two and four left to move, or one and two left to move. Okay, so the double happens at the end. Here we go. Uh, the blue guys, what are they going to do? I think the stinger... Oh, he's conscious that, that that griffin likes to take easy shots. So, he is going to move... You know what? He's in the perfect spot to just get in their way. So he might just stand back here and kind of block the way. Uh, maybe not showing his rear arc. <laughs> but I think that's his plan, is just to kind of be a physical barrier and shoot the guys as they come in. Um, that seems to be a good idea to me, I think. Um, which leaves us with these guys. Now, the Locust, I think... Our Locust is going to come up the rear and um, protect protect his dudes. Um, getting ready for like you know some kind of deal in the next in the next turn, um, and that leaves us with two, two, three. So. Their locust is. Is he injured? Yes. So. And the commando is very badly injured. Hmm. The commando is going to wait till the end, I think. And their locust is going to. He's going to backpedal into the water. And get ready on the other side to pop up. Now, he is on the light area of that. I don't know if you can see the color differential because of the quality of the of the crappy lighting in here. I had really, really harsh sun this morning. Uh, and so, like, my blinds are closed. Um, so, it's a bit desaturated. My apologies. But he's going to move there. So, he's got partial cover. He's not completely submerged and he can see out and shoot out um, if required. Which means it's now my turn to move, and I have a Hermes to move, and a Stinger to move, and a Griffin to move. And so that means I have to move two. So I have three to two. Three to one. So definitely need to move two. I don't know. <laughs> I get confused easy, guys. <laughs> I'm not on my ADHD medicine. Can you tell? All right. The Look, the Griffin, I think... How can he pass up that opportunity to take out the stinger? Ah, oh, but we want to take out the commando. Let's 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 move our stinger. Our stinger has jump as well, which makes things harder to hit with. Hmm. What if we just walk him up as far as he can go? He can get to the edge of that water without going in the water and slowing himself down. Uh, and that's just a walk, and that will actually put him in short range. So, that's good news. Um, and then we'll also move Mr. Hermes, who Hermes has a 12 as well. That's very handy. 
All right, so he is going to just get on the other side of that road. So you want to be a bit more straight and try and get a bit closer. Look, it's going to be medium range for him no matter what. And we don't know where that commando is moving. So I think he's going to... He does not have jump, so he's going to take a risk that we can get these guys wiped out this turn before they're a real big problem. Um, and he's not going to have to... I think in his mind, he's thinking he's going to stay on this side of the river and worst case, go up the mountain that's up here and, and take some shots from elevated terrain, maybe, uh, and just kind of keep himself <laughs> dry, more or less. Uh, there we go. I also saw in the rules, not that it matters now, but uh, for future, that uh, if you're completely submerged and you take any damage, you get a critical hit. So that'll be good to remember for the future. Uh, the commando... The commando is almost dead. And so because of that... Wait, they moved first, right? So that means they get to shoot first. So, and since pretty much everyone has moved except the griffin, it doesn't really matter where the commander goes. He's just going to go focus. He's going to straight in. <laughs> straight in. He doesn't care. And he's just going to try and blow up uh, the guy that he was trying to get before. Is he within short range? Yeah, he'll move a little bit more. So he's within short range of... Of that guy, uh, which leaves us with Mr. Griffin, which is way out of scale as a mech. He's way huge. <laughs> He's so big compared to the other ones. He looks like a battle master. He's that big. Um, he will... This, this is... Okay, I'm going to... Tangent time. So, yes, that is a 3D printed Griffin. Uh, because the only box you can get the Griffin in is getting the starter set. And I wanted four of them. And so I wasn't, and the starter set comes with 12, I think it's 12 mechs, right? I, I am not paying to get 12, like, uh, to get, what is it, 33 mechs I don't want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why am I paying $120 times four to get, this is Australian dollars because I'm in Australia and it's like 60 bucks for the box. Uh, so we've got to double it basically, plus shipping, you know. Uh, I'm not paying that to get 33 mechs that I don't want just to get four mechs I do. Um, and yeah, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get a 3D printed one. But unfortunately, <laughs> they're like seven feet tall in real life measurements. So on the table, they're quite large. Uh, so <laughs> where is my ridiculously large Griffin mech going to be? But they're meant to be representative, right? The scale in Battletech is all messed up. I've got official things that are like the, the Atlas, which is meant to be you know, the biggest mech that they've made uh, is, like, smaller than uh, a medium mech anyway. <laughs> like, it's um, it's pretty shockingly bad when it comes to scale. Because, you know, so many people have been involved. I'm going to stop talking and move my damn mech. Let's get to the next turn. Oh, he's going to go this way. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's going to go there. <laughs> All right, shooting phase. All righty. This is probably going to be the last turn, uh, I'm guessing. But here we go. Shooting phase, starting with the blue guys. Now, they need to... There isn't any way they can sort of... If they die this turn, they can't win. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so they just have to go on a bit of a blitzkrieg and just absolutely try and decimate uh, these guys. We're going to start with the commando. He's going to shoot uh, the, the spotty, the one that's already taken a hit. Um, so he's on fours, uh, and it moved with the plus two, and it's going to be short range, and there's no terrain interfering, so that means, uh, four plus two is six, and that's it. That's all we need to worry about, right? Sixes, here we go. ka -chow. That's not a six. Oh, no! That commando wasted his life for nothing. Uh, <laughs> the stinger. Um... Seeing that his buddy, the commando, is not going to get that one. Oh, they will try and get that next turn if they're alive. He's going to focus on this one behind the... Oh, yeah, he's going to go for, like, easy to hit. So, again, there's no real terrain in, in the middle. He didn't jump or do anything fancy, so it's going to be sixes. ka -chow. That is also not a six! <sighs> Look at these rookie pilots getting rolls I'd normally get for myself. What's going on? Uh, this guy is going to uh, also shoot. Uh, he's going to shoot not the one with the spot. Uh, yeah, you know what? He's going to shoot the one with the spot. Um, can you shoot through your own guys? 
do you block line of sight? Let's let's say you do block your line of sight. He's going to shoot the second to the last one, not the spotty guy, the other one. Uh, and it's going to be a plus two because it's going to be at range. So we're going to eight. That is not an eight. Oh, no. The, the pressure's getting to them. They're cracked under the pressure. They're like, oh, no, we are going to die. And the answer is yes. Yes, you are going to die, you chumps. So... <laughs> We have my cat over there. Sorry, I'm just distracted because my cat has just jumped up on my like little table and is sniffing around. Why are you being naughty? You're a naughty cat, Gohan. Chief Security Officer Gohan. You go away. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jingling in here. Jingling on my video. Yeah, troll. All right, so uh, we're going to start with the Locust on our side, uh, on the Marek side and uh, see if he can get rid of this commando, because that will then determine who the griffin and the stinger and the rest of them shoot at. So, uh, let's see. The commando has a TMM of two, I believe. I know I keep saying it. It's, it's hard to keep all these numbers in my head. Two. Uh, the locust did a run, so that's a zero on his part. I need to just stop saying that bit, because it's a big waste of your time and mine. There's nothing in there, and it's, I'm guessing, short range. It looks short range. It's definitely short range. So, uh, here we go. We need... Is it just sixes? It's just sixes, right? Yeah. Sixes, baby! That's not a six. Pew, pew! There's the dice rolls I'm used to! Uh, which means the stinger is going to do the same thing. It is going to be uh, eight, because we need plus two because it's medium range. That Oh, double one! I don't know. Is double? I feel like double one should be some kind of really bad negative thing for me. Um, please tell me if it is, and I'm playing the rules wrong. Uh, let me know about that. So, I guess the Hermes... Oh, the Hermes can't see, because that line of sight is, like, I don't know if you can see, but his buddy... If if he can't shoot the blue dot, because this guy's in the way, then he can't shoot the that guy, because this guy's in the way. So, the... I feel like we should take out the... Focus on taking out the... Sorry, I'm just doing math in my head. Uh, like, yeah, game theory math. Okay, we'll do the Griffin on the Commando because we want to get him out. So that, again, is going to be eight. That is got to be an eight. Come on, it's not a one. Yes, it's exactly eight. This guy is toast. Yes, that's what we like to see. Thank you, Commando. You are wiped out. Thanks for playing. Um, yay. <laughs> right, so that leaves the Hermes to do some damage to the Locust. Now, the Locust is partially submerged, so he's a plus one uh, to hit. And uh, it has a TMM of three. So that's plus four, so I'm looking at eights, plus it's going to be medium range tens. Here we go, tens. That's not a ten, that's an eight. And that is turn four we're on to turn five we're doing really good at like we're, we're getting in the flow i feel i feel good about these videos i feel good about them uh i hope you're feeling good about them too let me know if you're feeling good about these videos or if you feel i am doing a crap job let me know in the comments please i i am starved for attention uh please let me know let's move on to the movement phase okay we've got a bit of a problem so these guys would normally go their 15 centimeters or 30 on the roads, which they can't do because they're not on the road anymore. Gohan's in here jingling again. Stupid cat. Don't you knock my camera over. I see you trying to jump at it. Um, they can't just like take the nice easy road. They are going to have to go through here. See, this is where it all starts to fall apart for them. They've had such an easy cruisy ride so far. This is where, you know, anytime there's AI pathing issues... <laughs> And the AI falls down, right? So they are going to have to kind of hug the wall, I guess. Um, but the second they get into this terrain, their movement is again halved. So they've gone from doing like 30 a turn to now they'll be doing 7. So they get 5 to there, and then they'll get 5 in. So the first guy is going to be... Oh, no. Look at me changing the world. Uh, the first guy is only going to get to there, right? Um, which means they'll all kind of, you know, conga line across. But now it's going to be slow, slow moving for them. They are, um, 
they are going to have a not great time because they have to get all the way through those trees. Um, you know, can I zoom in? Am I at the wrong angle? I'm 100% at the wrong angle. There we go. They have to get all the way through those trees. So it is going to be a lot of slow moving for them. While we've got this angle, uh, so I don't have to set up the camera again, let's do initiative. Initiative for Marix. Three. They're back on top. All right. And then uh, the blue guys, unless they get double ones, it's, you know. Going to be the Marix moving first. Let's get to an angle where we can see everything. Okay. We on turn five? Or is this turn six? No, turn five. That's right. We're on turn five. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going insane. All right. Uh, let's see. Mariki, Mariki. What are we going to do with you? Now, we've got four to two. So we have to move two guys now. Uh, and I think my first move... My first move is going to be... I'm actually just going to move this Locust up to here. Because I think wherever these guys, other guys move, that's probably a safe space for him to be. Um, I think that's a pretty safe spot for him to be in. I'm just going to get it so you're not having all that wasted space. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, who else can we move that's going to not be a problem? Now, that locust is damaged. The the blue locust, blue team locust is damaged. So, I think the Stinger and the Hermes are probably pretty good to finish it off. Um, but, 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 what are we going to do? I think... My Hermes and my Griffin are the damage dealers, right? They're the ones that we really want to be um, working hard for the money, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we want to kind of keep them in reserve. So I guess that means the Stinger. Let's do a jump with the Stinger across to there. And then that way, whatever this Locust decides to do, the Stinger's kind of, you know, got him, got him on track. And um, now he jumped. We better put a token. Remember to do your tokens. Press like if you always do your tokens every single time, no matter what. I can't press like because I don't, because I'm pretty bad at remembering it. All right, <laughs> blue guys. The... If I was the blue player, would I move my Locust or my Stinger first? And I think I would move the Locust first just because it's probably going to die anyway. And I would move it. I would move it out of the water and do its full 16 and try and make use of this cover, I think. That is what I would do. And then that way he can kind of line up a shot. On, um, on these guys through the woods. Actually, it's more than six inches. He can't see those guys through the woods. Uh, but also, that means that he can't be seen. Yeah. More, yeah. So, because we're playing centimeters, that rule now is kind of quite important. So, uh, the only person who can see him here, because this guy's got his back to him. Uh, so, Hermes can see him, but he's quite a long way. Actually, Hermes probably can't see him because he's behind that rock edge. Uh, is the Locust, but he can't see him because of the woods. So, he is actually protected there. Uh, he is safe, unless the Griffin or Hermes, like, position themselves in a way to get him. Um, yeah. And I guess it's my turn to do that now. Can the Hermes take him out by himself? He would need to get a rear arc, which is not possible from this angle. So, he is going to... See, this is my mistake. I said that he was going to stay on this side of the river, and he probably shouldn't have. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's going to not move, and that'll give him about a, a, plus, um, a plus one to what he would otherwise have, regardless of where the stinger moves. Uh, and then the griffin is going to try and come back here to take care of business with this guy, um, who, again, he would need a rear arc to actually kill him, but at least he can do 
some damage. Is that Stinger unharmed? No, that Stinger only has two damage. So, that's where we're going. That's our moves. And what's the Stinger going to do? If I was the Stinger, I would go on the other side. Actually, not as a Stinger, he's probably about to die. Oh, you know what? Actually, that forest rule is mighty tempting. As a Stinger, I'm going to walk over here and hide on this side of the forest so all these mother effers can't see me it's john cena you can't see me and you can barely see him either i might zoom out a bit just so we can see he's hiding there and that means that oh can that locust see him or oh, yeah he's gonna be fine the locust is gonna be able to just see him he's gonna have some woods but no one else can see him so there you go that's that's that that's the that's the turn baby Let's do some shooting. Excuse me, Mr. Cat. Can you stop sitting there just jingling whilst I'm trying to record a video? It's very rude. You're not even acknowledging our viewership. Just licking your bum. Rude. Okay, I thought I'd try and line this shot up so you can see just, like, how much this uh, guy can see. Now, keep in mind, this is meant to be trees all the way around, right? Like, it's designed to be a donut wood so I can store it you know, easier. Like, normally there'd be, like, you know, more trees or whatever in the, in the middle of that. Uh, but you can see, like, it just, he just sneaks across the edge there. So there's going to be plus one woods, uh, and we're going to have, let's see, the, the locust, the stinger moved, and it has a TMM of two. It's going to be medium range, so that's another two, so that's eight. Uh, and then there's going to be the plus one for the woods. Is that right? Woods is plus one? Oh, man, I'm not even using the sheet. I'm getting better. Getting better, everyone. Woods with a three. Target has intervening or occupied woods terrain. Yeah. So, we need nines. Here we go. ka -chow. Oh, so close yet so far away. That's an eight. Um, yeah. The Hermes, that's going to be too far through the woods for the Hermes, I'm guessing. If I do that, yeah, that's more than six centimeters. All right. So, I guess we are going to the Griffin. All right, the Griffin versus the Locust. I'm guessing that's going to be a short range shot. Yeah, that's within short range. Uh, so, uh, let's see. The Locust has a TMM of three. Uh, the Griffin moved. Again, I've got to stop saying that. <laughs> Sevens. Sevens, baby. ka -chow. That's not a seven. Pew, pew. The Marrick guys are just not hitting this time around. So there might be a chance yet for the 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 pirates to, to have some fun. Here we go. Let's find out. All right, we are precariously balanced for this camera angle. <laughs> now, I've just realized he might not be able to see him either because it's more than six. He won't be able to shoot, uh, unfortunately. So it just leaves the stinger and the stinger is going to go for this guy on the end here because he's already damaged. I think that is the plan. Plus two TMM, plus two range. So we're looking at eights. Here we go. Eights. It's a six. That's no, no dice. So, a very uneventful round for the shooting phase. Uh, and that, that's it. Oh, actually, you know what? The uh, Locust can shoot the Griffin. So, the Locust will do that. Uh, the Griffin has TMM, I know I keep forgetting, of two. Uh, and the Locust did a move. Uh, not that that matters. <laughs> so, we're looking at sixes, right? Oh, and is it? we said it's short range. It is short range. So, sixes, here we go. ka -chow. Oh, double twelve! So look, look at that. I don't know if that's something fancy. I'm sure it is. Uh, but there you go. Have some damage. I'm going to quickly look it up. All right. We are at turn six. There is no uh, extra stuff. So I will just do the damage. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've also taken the liberty of moving the... Um, oh, that's a bit of a blurry shot. There we go. I've also taken the liberty of moving the convoy uh, with the stinger not in the way these guys can. And as you can see, they're, they've caught up more or less with with these guys so there we go my griffin has how much damage how much does locust do it short one one damage oh no not one rip all right so uh we need to do some initiative for turn six uh the marricks have a six and the blue guys team blue i've also got a six all right marricks team five uh number five and there you go they're going first 
The Marricks need to shut this down before, you know, they've had some lucky, lucky misses. We've got to do some movement to sh shut all this down. Uh, let's, whoops, clear your tokens. Remember, do you clear your tokens? Did you clear your tokens? Did you clear them? Did you clear them? Did you clear them? I cleared mine. Uh, there we go. Max, 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 Max. Now we have four to two. So. Hmm. Four to two. I think we're going to. I think the Hermes is just going to move up. Actually, the Hermes is in a good. Oh, we, we said that before, but he's not really in a good spot, is he? He's just going to move across. <laughs> He'll get a bit closer. Not that it helps, uh, but there you go. Uh, that's a good move to waste, though, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm going to leave the Locust because the Locust is quite speedy. So let's move the Stinger. Let's move the Stinger over here as well. Just because this is where they're going. This, this Locust is kind of cornered now. Uh, and they now need to make a choice about what they want to move. They're going to move their Stinger, who's quite badly wounded. They're both badly wounded, aren't they? Mm, yeah. Well, they've both been shot at least once. The Stinger is more likely to die this turn. Or any turn, really. He should have died last turn. Uh, so he might keep using this terrain, you know what I mean? It's working for him so far. He's just going to stand in this terrain here. Um, knowing that these guys can't really move anywhere. So he's in there, uh, you know, up nice and close, a bit closer than that. I know you can't see him. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is I'll move this guy out a bit and I'll put him on this side of the trees so you can actually see him. There you go. <laughs> so he's he's in that tree there. Oh, man, the camera's so blurry. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't even have a lens on it or nothing. There you go. It was because it was in a in a negative zoom. It was in like zero point nine zoom. Uh, yeah. So he'll he'll have like zero tree range basically <laughs> to those guys, which is good. And now I am forced to move my griffin and my locust. Though knowing that that is where that guy is moving, I think the griffin is gonna come charging in in a similar fashion. And he'll get there and have to stop because he has to use less movement when he's in there. But at least it'll be less than six. So he's going to be short range, first of all. But secondly, uh, it also means that, uh, you know, he, ca he can see in the trees. That's interesting. The six is there. There you go. That works out nicely, doesn't it? Short range is how far you can see in woods. Uh, very nice. Uh, and the locust... Uh, Depending upon where that locust goes is going to be the problem. I think that this locust... You know, this locust is going to do similar, but he's going to come around this way. Um, again, I'll try and put him somewhere you can see. He's in there, right? There you go. They're going to gang up on him. Um, he's actually over here. He's the same distance, but behind this tree, okay? <laughs> he's just there for now <laughs> so that he's on camera. Uh, which leaves this one remaining locust, and he needs to try and stop them in some way, I guess, some fashion. Um, I think he wants to get these guys here at the front, so he's going to move around here so he's not rear arcing anyone and shoot at those guys. In fact, he might even step in. He's going to step in, so again, there's, he gets the benefit of that tree cover. It's all happening in the tree. It's a, it's a shrubbery, shrubbery debacle. An Entmoot, if you will. Let's do some sh Okay, the Entmoot continues. <laughs> Turn six. Um, here we go. This Stinger, not that you can see him, there's a Stinger down here. Uh, he's going to shoot the back end, not the rear arc, but the back end of that guy. Uh, and he... So he moved, he ran, uh, the guy's got, he's standing in wood, so that's a one. <sighs> it's medium range, so that's a two. He's got a TMM of three. So that is six on top of the four. He needs tens. Here we go, tens. Ka-chow. The double one. Again, I feel like that should be some kind of critical miss. I couldn't see any rules for critical hits and misses, so if I'm wrong, let me know. <sighs> All right. The, uh, the Hermes can't see nothing. So he's just going to chill out there. The Locust is going to shoot at the Stinger. 
The Stingers, TMM is two. There's a Woods in the way, so that's plus one. Uh, and it's short range. So that is, we're looking at sevens. Here we go, sevens. That is not a seven. Likewise, the Griffin, same thing, sevens. That is a seven. Happy days. That blue token is the exit point, by the way, that I'm just jumping around. So that Stinger takes two points of damage and is Toast, which is what we wanted. That is good for us. Toast Mech. Toasty Mech. Hopefully it doesn't start a fire in the forest. Uh, the Locust is going to have a crack at the first guy. They've got a TMM of two. The Locust... Uh, I was going to say move, but I'm stopping myself because I'm not going to say that. It is in wood, so plus one, so we're looking at sevens. ka -chow! And the Locust does a damage point to that one guy. Happy days. I'll just put it here so we know. All right. And that is the end of the shooting phase for turn six. We're into turn seven. It's not looking good for the Locust. And I think I'm going to call it here. I think this Locust is outnumbered and injured. He only has two, like, two hit points left. So, um, yeah, he he's going to bail on this mission. He's like, okay, they have succeeded. Um, and if we have a look, I think we do succeed because these guys outside can um, do their 15 centimeters. Oh, not quite. These guys will almost escape. But um, there you go. Will those guys escape? Those guys will definitely, like, one of those guys will escape. So, he will escape. The wounded one will escape, and the not wounded one is there. So, this locust is like, nah, man, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to keep up with these guys. Uh, and happy days, I think. That is... That is the end of that. We got a victory! We got a victory, and we didn't lose a single mech this time. Yay! Let us roll for some, um, let's roll for some salvage. Not, we only get 10% of salvage. We'll work out how that works in the next video, I think. Um, but we've got this, this scrappy guy here, this scrappy guy here, this scrappy guy here. This guy doesn't count. He's run away. All right. So for our, uh, first locust, uh, this is how many parts we get. Uh, that's two out of three. Remember we're rolling a 1D, 1D2, right? Uh, so that's two locust parts, stinger parts, we get one stinger part, and commando parts, we get three, all three commando parts. Happy days. Of course I get good salvage on the one that doesn't count. <laughs> so we got, uh, two locust, one stinger, and three commando. And we only get 10% of that. And we didn't really get wounded that much. We got like one shot off on the griffin. So, uh, happy days. You get to see my messy corner this time because I want to sit back. I was on my edge of the seat the whole time there. Hi, Karumi. How you doing? Look at that. You guys Hello Kitty fans? There's a Karumi there. Look at all this messy, messy stuff. This is where I throw all the garbage so I can make the videos. <sighs> Thank you for watching. We did three videos this week. I feel exhausted. <laughs> I probably won't be doing three videos again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, but we got a victory. I'm glad we got a victory because, you know, I was like, oh no, I've got two videos and there's no victories. How terrible am I? Uh, so maybe we, you know, by consolidating our forces a bit, we'll get better at not getting victories. You saw the dice in the first video. This time the dice were in my side. Uh, the dice are definitely Lyran aligned. I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> we did it. They don't care for bandits. So they're, they're happy. They're happy for me to win this one. Uh, yeah, that was a fun game, and, uh, like, it, the dice, it was all about the dice, man, we hit some, we missed some, uh, and, yeah, happy days. We will work out all of the, um, like, salvage and repairs and things in the next video, I'm too exhausted to do it now, uh, but, yeah, next week, that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna work out those salvage things, I'll do it one night, uh, and how to do repairs, we get some, we get some payment for this one, I didn't even see what the reward is, in fact, come with me now. Oh, my back. My back. I get a third lance points in points. So, um, whatever the third of the lance that came and fought me was, that'll be the, the points that I get. So, um, that will pay for some of the repairs that we'll need to do. But we'll talk about that next time. Thank you for watching. And uh, ciao for now.